This is Karen. Welcome, everybody. I am Shane. Today, we're looking at part one of our story, and it's called The Prince and the Pauper. The pauper. <laughs> and the vocabulary words are palace. Palace. The queen lives in a huge palace to the north. Must be nice. I know. Guard. Guard. The prisoners would have to get past six guards to escape. Wow. Envy. Envy. I envy you for your ability to make friends. I do have a lot of friends. Comfort. Comfort. Going camping made us miss the comforts of living in the city. Mm, temporarily. Temporarily. The power went out temporarily, but it's back on now. It, it is on. Yeah, it's nice it is. Nice and bright. Nice I'm to see you again. Nice to see you. It was so dark, I couldn't see you before. <laughs> Okay, so we're talking about a story called The Prince and the Pauper. That's correct. So the prince, obviously, is very rich. Mm -hmm. And he lives in a huge... Palace. Palace. Mm -hmm. And of course, the pauper, a pauper just means somebody's kind of like poor, right? Mm -hmm. Just like an ordinary townsperson. That's right. He, of course, admires the prince and all of that wealth and that comfort that he must have. But the interesting part of the story is that yeah. this prince and the pauper, they look identical. Ooh, that whoa. means they look the same. Wow, maybe they're twins. They even have the same birthday. Wow, so when yeah. they, they meet each other one day mm. outside of the palace, yes. and they notice this. I know. So actually the prince invites the pauper to come on in. So the pauper's name is Tom, and the mm -hmm. prince's name? Edward. So Tom, uh, Edward and Tom make friends and decide, hmm, why don't we change clothes? Because actually Tom feels it would be so cool to live in this palace. And Edward also envies, you know, Tom's freedom because right. he can be out of the palace, do whatever he wants. So they come up with this plan? To trade places. Yeah, so they switch clothes and then Immediately, mm -hmm. Edward looks like Tom because he's wearing his dirty old clothes and they kick him out of the palace. That's right. Woo. <gasps> What's going to happen next? Interesting story. Let's find out. All right. The Prince and the Pauper. A long time ago in England, two boys who were almost identical in appearance were born on the same day but under very different conditions. Tom Canty was born in one of the poorest areas in London, while Edward Tudor was born in the palace. Today's lesson is called The Prince and the Pauper, Part 1. Hello everyone, my name is Jeff. And I'm Mike. This is a classic story. You may not have heard this version, but They've remade this into countless movies, television shows, video games, I'm sure, or comic books. The Prince and the Pauper. Was this written by Mark Twain? I think it was written by Mark Twain. Yeah, oh. Huckleberry Finn, Tom Sawyer. But it's not one of these tales from the great American West. No, it actually takes place in England. Hmm. And he set it back during, you know, Henry VIII kind of time. Oh, yeah. well, which well, I didn't know. But, of course, they've remade Oh, didn't they remake it into a, a movie with, with Martin Lawrence? I don't know. Anyways, I don't know, but let's get, yes. let's get into our story. Right. A long, it's a classic. It's a classic. A long time ago in England, mm -hmm. two boys who were almost identical in appearance mm -hmm. were born on the same day, but under very different conditions. Yep. Almost like twins in certain ways. Mm. They looked alike. Oh. They look so much alike. They were born on the same day, mm -hmm. but they were also born under very different conditions. I get the feeling that one was a prince and the other was a, a pauper. A pauper, a very, very poor person. So one was the son of the king, one was one of the poorest kids you can imagine. But yeah, they looked very similar. They were born on the same day, but yes, in different conditions, in different levels of society. Let's meet the pauper first. Tom Canty was born in one of the poorest areas 
in London. He was born, you know, in the in Skid Row in the East End, you know, in like the really poor area where where people just, you know, had very very little money. And the other guy, the prince, it says, well, Edward Tudor was born in the palace. Wow, actually, Henry the Eighth's son was Edward, so this is kind of like Henry the Eighth's son, but not a real person. Henry, Edward Tudor is the name, and of course, if you're the son of the king, if you're a prince, it's quite likely you will be born in a palace. A palace is a grand royal house. It's not a castle. It won't have big walls around it. This is sort of later in history. But if you go to England, if you go to London and visit Buckingham Palace, where the Queen. Lives that is a palace. It's a really big, really fancy house where royal people live. For example, the queen lives in a huge palace to the north. House, mansion,、mm -hmm. palace, castle, manor. A man. Wouldn't that be like not only the main building there, but then also the land surrounding、like、it as well? Or,、yeah. Anyways, yeah. palace. palace it's a really big place. You can't、place. get bigger、yeah. than a palace, really. <laughs> Anyways, folks, with that, it's time for us to take a short break. But don't go away. We'll be back soon. Hello, 大家好，我是 Hanny。这一次要读的故事是美国知名作家马克吐温的作品，叫做《The Prince and the Pauper》，乞丐王子。那么其中的 pauper， 它指的是穷人、平民。老师们在开场的时候提到说，哦，这个故事啊有被翻拍成电视剧啊、电影等等，有许多的版本。那这时候老师用到 remake， 在 make 前面加上 r e 这个动词就可以表达重置或是翻拍。那么 version v e r s i o n 这个字就可以表达版本。好，故事一开始就提到啦。很久很久以前，在英格兰，有两个外表几乎一模一样的男孩在同一天出生，但他们的生活环境却天差地远。一位是 Tom Candy， 他特他是出生在伦敦最贫穷的其中一地区。那另外一位叫做 Edward Tudor， 他是出生在皇宫。好，我们的单字 palace，palace palace 就是指皇宫、宫殿。老师们还有提到 mansion。M A N S I O N mansion， 它是指豪宅、大宅邸的意思。还有提到 manor， M A N O R manor 是指庄园。那 Mike 老师刚刚还有说到 Skid Row， S K I D 空格 R O W Skid Row 表示贫民窟或是贫民区。那接下来课文中。The Prince and the Pauper。Tom grew up living a hard life. His father forced him to beg for money and would beat him if he returned home empty-handed. One day, Tom was hanging around near the palace to get a better look at the royal life. The palace guards spotted the boy and told him to stand back. Prince Edward heard the commotion and invited Tom inside the palace. Okay, the prince. And the pauper.、Mm. First, let's learn about the pauper.、Okay. Tom、mm. poor, grew. Poor Tom. Poor Tom the、mm. pauper grew up living a hard life. Things weren't <sighs> easy for him at all. No, absolutely not. His father forced him to beg for money and would beat him if he returned home. Empty-handed, so、wow. he was that you know stereotypical classic poor kid on the streets of London, no shoes. Please, sir, can you spare a copper for poor little Tom? So he had no money. He was begging. He couldn't even get a simple little job. And when he returned home with his hat or his little bag or whatever with no money in it, his father would beat him. You can know that. You can bet the father would spend the money on drink or gin or <sighs> gambling on. The dog races, or something like that. And you don't have any money for me, Tom. And he would beat him with a stick. Sounds, it was a is, terrible, terrible is, life. Sounds terrible. It was terrible. But then one day、mm. something happened.、Uh, one day Tom、yes. was hanging around near the palace. Oh, okay. To get a better look at the royal life, and that's where the rich people live. So、and、maybe he was hoping to get money. That's、right? where the prince lives, and that's where the prince lives. But even that yeah, area is a good place to、uh, beg. I remember, I, I remember the two boys. They look alike. So the、right. palace guards spotted the boy,、uh -huh. 
and told him to stand back. Well, he's obviously a scallywag, a poor little kid. Stand back, young man. But he looks an awful lot the like the prince. But he's covered in mud and dirt. Anyways, though, these guards, they say, hey, hey, you, you, mm. you kind of do look like the prince, but stand back. Anyways, here, when we have guards, we're talking about people who keep a place safe. Okay, these palace guards, they stand outside around the palace to keep the people in the palace and the palace itself safe. Yes, guards, security, personnel, there you go. For example, the prisoners would have to get past six guards to escape. Mm. So it's not too hard to get past one or two or three guards, but six, that's pretty tough. Unless they're ninjas. Ninjas can get we past will, any guards. We will, we will get back to All that right, yeah. during another program. No but ninjas around the palace in London. So stand back, stand, stand back, back there, you ragamuffin or whatever. But there happened to be someone very important nearby who heard and saw what was going on. Prince Edward. Yeah, Prince Edward, the rich kid who looks like Tom, but was the son of the king. Prince Edward heard the commotion heard the guards yelling at this young man and invited Tom inside the palace. Leave him be, he's just a poor little kid. That, Don't be so rough. Can't and then he you, said- can't, can't you say that he looks a whole lot like me? No, but that's- He's a, he's a spitting image no, of me, let him sound, inside the palace. No, no, he would be more like, no, leave him alone. Let him come in for tea and crumpets. Oh, yeah. so I've got like- He's, he's fancy, oh, he's, he's fan got to use fancy. Yeah. Yes. We'll, we'll work on that during the Anyways, break. Anyways, folks, yeah. it is no time for us to take a break. <laughs> yes. Jolly good, jolly good. Tom 的成长过程中生活很艰难，那他的父亲逼他去外面乞讨。要是他两手空空回家，就会被父亲殴打。那么 Mike 老师说，这就像是那种刻板典型的街头穷小孩。那么老师用到 stereotypical 这个字 ，s t e r e o t y p i c a l。stereotypical 是形容刻板印象的、典型的或者是成规的、老套的。好，那么有一天呢 ，Tom 他在皇宫附近闲晃，想要多看一眼皇室的生活。然后接着，皇宫的卫兵就注意到这个男孩，就叫他往后退，往后退。然后这时候，王子 Edward 听到外面吵吵闹闹的声音，他就想邀请这位 Tom 来进入皇宫。好，我们先来看单字 guard。Guard， 它表示卫兵、警卫。好，那么警卫、卫兵就是安全人员嘛。Jeff 老师刚刚说到 security personnel， 他用到这个 personnel，P-E-R-S-O-N-N-E-L 就可以用来指全体人员喽。好，那么 Mike 老师说，那些卫兵啊，搞不好会称呼 Tom 是 scalawag，S-C-A-L-A。W A G， 那这个字就意思相当于 rascal， R A S C A L。那这两个字可以表达那种淘气鬼啊、捣蛋鬼的意思。好，那么刚刚两位老师故意在揣摩这英国腔，可是英国皇室的人应该不会用 Jeff 老师那种怪腔怪调讲话，而是用优雅的腔调。Mike 老师说，王子搞不好还会请那位男孩在皇宫里面享用茶点。这时候，老师说到这个 crumpet 是一种英式常见的点心，它拼作 c r u m p e t。crumpet 是指小小圆圆的那种烤饼、面包。好，接华课文中。The Prince and the Pauper. Once over the shock of their unusual resemblance, the two boys realized they also shared the same birthday. As they got to know each other, Prince Edward said he envied Tom's freedom, and Tom admitted he admired all the comforts the prince enjoyed. The prince came up with a plan for Tom to trade places with him temporarily, and the two of them switched clothes. When Edward went outside, the guards mistook him for Tom and chased him away. Anyways, we've got、uh, the prince and the pauper. Yeah, they just met, and you know what? It finally dawns on everyone. Holy moly, boy, do they ever look alike! Yes, once over the shock of their unusual resemblance. Like, what? 
the two boys realized they also shared the same birthday. Wow, they look alike. They look and then, how old are you? I'm the same age. When was your? <gasps> Mine was the same day.、Oh、You're covered、God. in mud. I'm really rich, but everything else about us. Is so similar. So of course, this was the beginning of their friendship, their relationship, as they got to know each other. Prince Edward said he envied Tom's freedom, and Tom admitted he admired all the comforts the prince enjoyed. So Prince Edward said, "Oh, you're you're allowed to go out there and get covered in mud and have people ignore you, and your father beat, beat you. the crap out of you. I really、yeah. envy your freedom." And, and Tom, Tom looked around the palace and said, "Wow, you got all these comfy chairs and、yeah. diamonds and rings and crumpets. This is I really admire. Is, I'm jealous of this. This is nice. It's nice. There's no one who's gonna beat me up. No, and there's no mud、great. in here, and I can not." Fear for my life. Right. Ah, ah, that's great. How yeah. comfortable. Yeah. Anyways, here we have the word envy to talk about. It's being、mm. used as a verb. Tell us all about it.、Mike. Yeah, to envy someone is kind of like to be jealous of that person. You look at them and go, ah, you have such great things, or you're such a special, talented person. I, I wish, wish I, I could be like you. And then it becomes a little bit of an evil, or at least a a not so healthy feeling of like, ah,、oh, I'm unhappy with myself. If only I could be like that person, or have what they have, or could do what they do, then my life would be better. So you know, it's okay to envy people a little bit, but if it makes you dislike them or dislike yourself, if it becomes too much of a a strong feeling, this feeling of envy,、um, it can be a bad thing. But you know, a little bit might be okay. For example, I envy you for your ability. To make friends, you're a very you know well、uh, outgoing person. I'm kind of shy, but you know maybe I'll just try to work on being a little less shy. That that that's okay. Anyway, it says Tom. He really liked the comforts、mm, of the palace.、Sure. Wow, this place is nice.、He、There's jealous of the comfort, food and、uh, servants and、yeah. comfortable places to sit and fire guards who are keeping you safe and、mm -hmm. keeping people from. Beating you up and stuff like、mm. that. Oh man, how great this place is! Yes, when you're talking about something that is comfortable, you're talking about something that makes you feel good. A soft, cozy chair is very comfortable. You you could call that a comfort. A chair like that, and anything else that might make your life easier or more convenient, you can call these things. Comforts that make you feel good, they make you feel cozy and warm. For example, going camping made us miss the comforts of living in the city.、Mm. And yeah, I hate camping.、Mm. I will take the comforts of the city any day of the week. Absolutely. In a city, there are reasonable problems with reasonable solutions. Not so much out there in the woods when you're camping. Absolutely, and of course we could be talking about you know your comfortable bed or your sofa, but also you know electricity or having、nice. hot water. We can talk about those as being comforts as well. So it's not just and toilets so, and toilets and a refrigerator and you know food that you don't have to cook on a fire. It's not always just soft pillows and beds. It can be these other things that make our lives easier.、Yeah. Anyway, so the prince was thinking, I'd like to be like you. And have your freedom. Tom was thinking, I'd like to live here and have all this comfortable, wonderful stuff and no mud all over me. And the prince came up with a plan for Tom to trade places with him temporarily. You see where this is、yeah. going. And the two of them switched clothes. So we look alike. We're the same height and the same age. And you know, everyone would think we're twins. Let's switch places. Temporarily, and I'll live your life. You live my life. Gosh, won't that be fun? For a limited time. That's what ad, this adverb temporarily means. It didn't mean the prince was going to give up his life forever. It meant for a short but, time, maybe a couple of days. You know, just try it out. But if the prince goes to Tom's house and、mm -hmm. he doesn't have any money, does that、mm -hmm. mean that Tom's dad is going to? Put the smack down. Absolutely, and he wants that freedom. I don't know how this doesn't sound like a great plan, but the idea was the plan was only going to last a short amount of、mm. time, 
temporarily, not permanently. Let's go back to that word and read the example sentence for temporarily. The power went out temporarily, but it's back on now. You know when the power in your house goes off for a half an hour you know, after a, a big storm or something? It only goes on for a few minutes or an hour or two, then it comes back. Anyways, when Edward went outside,、mm -hmm. the guards mistook him for Tom. Oh, you poor lad! Get away from here! And chased him away、right. without so, knowing that he's actually the prince. He's out there in the streets of London, having his freedom. Good luck. Good luck. All right, folks. With that, the first part of our story is now in the books, and it's time for us to say bye bye. Take care. Tom 和 Edward 发现彼此长相异常的相似，他们非常惊讶。那当他们一从这个惊讶的情绪中恢复过来，就意识到他们的生日也是同一天呢。然后随着彼此更加了解，王子 Edward 就说他很羡慕 Tom 的自由。那么 Tom 则是羡慕王子所享有这些舒适生活。于是王子就想到一个计划，他要 Tom 暂时跟他交换身份，来异地而处。那这两个人呢，就交换了衣服。王子变装之后，走到外面，他就被卫兵误以为是 Tom， 然后把他赶走了。我们先来看三个单字 ：envy。Envy， 它表示羡慕、嫉妒。那这个字可以当名词或动词。它的形容词呢是去掉 y， 再加 i o u s， 变成 envious， 形容羡慕的。那有一个意思相近的字是 jealous，j e a l o u s，jealous 可以形容嫉妒的、吃醋的。下一个单字 comfort，comfort comfort,。它当名词呢，是用来表达说使生活舒适的事物。那这时候是这个复数型会比较常用。那么这个字也可以当不可数来表达舒适的意思。好，补充一下，我们在口语中有时候会听到这个 comfy 这个字 ，c o m f y comfy 是形容舒适的。那么 Jeff 老师说的 cozy c o z y cozy 则是形容舒适的、惬意的。好，我们再来看下一个单词 temporarily。Temporarily， 它是指暂时的，是副词。那它的相反词是 permanently， 它表示呀永久的或者是长期的。我们来拼一下这个字，它是拼作 p e r m a n e n t l y permanently。好，那最后来看五个重点。第一个重点。Once 在这边呢，是当连接词来表达一怎么样就怎么样。那之后要连接子句，例如 Once she saw her parents, her face broke into a smile. 她一见到爸妈，脸上就突然露出笑容了。第二个重点 ，over 在这边是当介系词来表达结束或是克服。我们常常会用 be over something 或者是 get over something 来表达。例如。It wasn't easy for them to get over the cultural differences between them. 克服彼此之间的文化差异对他们来说并不容易。好，第三个重点 ，share 在这边当动词来表达共有或是共享，像是 they share a common interest in baking. 他们有共同的兴趣就是烘焙。好，第四个重点。片语 come up with 是指想到、想出，那常常用来表达想出新的点子、提出新的构想、想到解决方法等等。例如 ，Mary came up with a brilliant idea to solve the problem. Mary 想出一个很棒的点子来解决那个问题。第五个重点 ，trade 这边当动词来表达交换。那么 trade places with somebody 是指说与某人异地而处，跟某人交换地位、处境等等。例如， if you could trade places with any superhero for a day, who would you choose? 如果你可以跟任何一位超级英雄交换处境一天，你会选谁呢？好了，那我以上是今天的课程讲解，谢谢同学们收看，我们下次见喽，拜拜。See you next time.